Hey everybody, welcome to Creating with Love Crafting. Today is a paper piecing video. I'm going to use an old die. It's called Quick Cut and one of my new dies. So we're going to try to make an embellishment with those. Now I will be pausing between some steps because then you don't want to see repetitive stuff. Like, sub, and hit the bell for notifications. There is a Facebook group called Creating with Love Crafting and go, you go join that if you want. Come see us on Instagram and Rumble and Patreon, all the same name. And come see my Etsy shop, Create with Love One. With the giveaway, the giveaway info, you must be subscribed to my channel. I'm trying to go get up to 500 and at 500 we will have that giveaway. Send the invite card to the P.O. box located in the description below this video. Include your snail mail on the envelope and then write the info on the card inside. I'd like to know your name, your email, what you do for a hobby, and what got you to hobby and what you love about it. I'd like to know your pet's name. If you have more than one, fine, send it. Write about them and then what you love about those pets. So, all right. Now, I don't know if any of you remember these dies, but this is a teddy bear die. Okay, so this has quick, um, these are called quick cuts. And this has quick cut foam in it so that the paper will pop out. Okay, but these are really old and I was going to get rid of them, but then I decided I, I'm i only going to get rid of the ones that, um, that I know that I cannot use or that I know that I don't really like that aren't my style, but the, I'm going to keep this teddy bear one. And then we're going to make something for him to be mounted on. And this could either be, um, this will either be a tag or whatever we want to make. But there is a frame here with dots and scallops. And then right here, we're going to use the two outer ones. This is, um, you know, stitching. So let's get on with it. All right, so I'm going to take... Because I need my colors, here's the belly. I want to do the belly. All right, so I'm going to use my scrap pieces. I know there's stuff on the other side, but it'll be, it'll be okay. So I'm going to take another piece of paper, and I want to do the bow. will be here. over the bow and then I want to take a piece of brown paper and get the arms so I grabbed all my scraps from my um, that's why you buy you know the scrap bags I grabbed all those so these are old dies but they do work in the Sizzix big shot I really really appreciate having one of these so we're going to just Roll it on through. Yay. And they do work. So if you have old dies like this, you know, and you they're your style still. Keep them. Okay, so there's the belly. And here's the arms. There's one arm. Here's another arm. Goes like that. Okay. And okay, so we're gonna, because we have shadows here, we're gonna end up probably going from this side and doing everything. All right, so we have the bow. We have a bow and 
I need new things and they never came in and Joanne's lost them in the mail which really upset me but oh well so I may do something with that little piece to the bow might put a little stickle on it later I gotta remember that though all right so that is that is this part okay I'm gonna get rid of some of the paper and the other paper I'm gonna keep. I'm just gonna trim it off. Okay. All right, so that is part of that. And so over here, he has a muzzle and feet. So, and then these feet. Then he has a head, but I wanna keep the muzzle lighter. Hello. Hello, there you go. And I wanna keep all the feet lighter and the head will stay brown. So I think this piece for the head, oh, no, it's not big enough. So this piece is probably big enough. Yes, it is. So I gotta cut it and then I want a longer piece for the other paws. Then we're gonna end up doing these. Wow. And I need another piece for the muzzle. For the little mouth. Okay, so now I've got everything covered. And we're just going to push it through. Up. Oh. Stay still. And I'm going to turn this over so we have certain pieces, okay? Little paws, and then we have more little paws. And then we got to do black for the little paws. I don't want to do pink. And then there's your muzzle your little mouth and then here's your head all right now I gotta do the nose and the eyes and then we can paper piece them together come on all right so, I have a black piece of scrap, and all I'm going to do is cut the pieces where I want them. This one goes here, okay, and I want these little dots here. And I'm not worried about it. This is how you paper piece. These little dots go here. And put the cover back on. And we're gonna go through one more time. I like working with paper, it's pretty easy. And this is like a puzzle. That's all it is. 
Yep, I got little pieces that are gonna fly around because of static. All right, so we got our little pieces to the eyes. Yep, I lost that one. God knows where that went. There it is. Now oh, where'd that go? Oh. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna get them all apart. Now I have a piece of the frame in there and I'm gonna do the dark beigey color first for the outside as we're gonna layer this. Mm. This wants to give me a hard time. And then we're going to Wow, how pretty. Look. Look how pretty. We're going to have a really pretty piece of embellishment. So that is that one. And then we're going to do the lighter one, which will go on the front, which is a textured piece of paper. Look how pretty. And hopefully the stitching will show up. But I kind of use neutral colors for now. The only pop color is uh, red and black. Yeah. Do you want to go? There. There you go. Okay. Yes. The stitching does show. See? How pretty. Okay. Be right back. All right. So here's all the pieces. Ugh. It is um, tedious. Okay. For this one. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Let me put some glue here. Now just remember we're piecing a teddy bear together. And then we put them together on this. And his paws. I, I... No. Nope. These are his. Oh, okay. I think these should have been brown. Hold on. All right. I came up with some difficulties, but... Okay, so I had to recut this um, because I did it wrong. Okay, so now we're going to put these feet, these pads, onto the brown backing, which is his feet. Okay. Now he should have been pink, I think, but I'm not going to go back. and cut out little pink dots and stuff. That's just a little bit too hard. So all these can glue, get glued that way. Do, 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 do. Okay, that. Then they go like that. But we also have his arms that go this way. Okay. 
like that. So now we're going to, uh, we're gonna just put a little glue on the edges here and make his arms go on. We're gonna put his arms on. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side, just go along the edge. This glue is good enough, it will hold him together. Okay. And you have his little muzzle. I'm gonna put that on so I don't lose it. This is not, oh boy, what did I do? Okay. Wrong side. We don't need a zebra mouth. All right. I think that I'm just doing this, making lots and lots of mistakes because I'm nervous or something. I don't know, not thinking. All right, so we have the little dots that go in here, which should be pink. I didn't do pink, I'm sorry. And the little dots that go in here and here and here. I'm gonna do the rest of them off camera because this is tedious. Oop. Okay. I'm gonna do these off camera. Here's his nose. And, ugh. I think, no, these I believe are his eyes up here. So, I'll be right back. All right, so I did his face and I did his little feet. So now we're gonna connect his feet. He's sitting, okay? So he's sitting, so I'm gonna put just a strip of glue here. And another strip of glue here. The reason I did his eyes and um, his nose, cause these, these are tedious to pick up. So. Now we have a little bow tie. and the middle piece, which I'm going to just put it on. It's middle piece. And you notice I have the stickles here. Then I'm going to put this together. So once you get the hang of it, you can put your little guys together or your dies. But to me, it's a little hard because it's only my second time paper piecing. And this is a very old die. It's from, I think it's from the early 2000s or the 95s or so. I don't know when it was from. So he can go there, which is really, really cute. Okay. Now we're going to put him there. And he fits almost perfectly. And does it really matter if something is not real framed or does it matter if it hangs off? Because I think it looks a little cuter if it hangs off. Now we're gonna do the little bow tie. I 
and I love this Barely Arts glue. Go to barelyart.com and order yourself some. It lasts forever. This is my second um, kit order that I bought. All right. Now you can use this as an embellishment or you can use it as a tag. I'm not going to poke a hole until I decide what I want to use it for. But this is our little guy that we made together. And we're going to finish. I have a jelly roll pen. And I'm just going to come in like the sun and put just a little bit of white on his nose to make it look like he's shiny nose and then a little sparkle in his eyes and there he is he she so that is your little embellishment and we're not done So just to give this little person or this little teddy bear a little bit of oomph, we can use our stickles. I'm not a fan of dry glitter, but I am a fan of this stuff. You can control it. So there it is. You're cute little embellishment made out of scraps I made a couple mistakes here but forgive that but still you can still make adorable embellishments for yourself so I hope you like that little instructive video now for our prayer dear Lord Jesus our Father God, we come to you through the blood of your precious Son. And we thank you for not denying us entrance into heaven, but giving us a way to come to spend eternity with you. We're sorry, Jesus, that you had to sacrifice yourself, but we are so thankful for it. And we ask you, Jesus, to come into our hearts and our minds, renew our minds, renew our bodies and our souls. Heal us, Father God. Let us spend our lives and our eternity with you and Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for filling us and guiding us each and every day of our lives. Heal us from the tops of our heads to the bottom of our feet. Any malady you may have, any injury, infirmity, anything, be healed and be made whole right now in the name of Jesus. You will not be held down, but you will rise up off your sick bed. Father, bless each and every one of these people that are watching these videos i thank you for watching in and i pray in jesus name amen so i hope you guys really liked our little dude and let's just get everything out of the way because i do do some Um, I do do a thumbnail. So, God bless each and every one of you, guys. Hope you liked everything. Keep creating with love. <laughs>